Hey, this is Nate with Wash Sensei. Just wanted to put, put this quick video review together for you. Kind of go over your site, give you some pointers on what you can do to help outrank your competition. Kind of a little free attack plan. I always go over content, citations, and backlinks, and we'll get into what all of those are. First off, your site looks great, but we always like to talk about the content first. With Google, content is king. They want to see about 1,500 to 2,000 words on this home page so that you can organically get the content and the search phrases that people are looking for into the content on your page. Google doesn't really see all of the pictures. There are ways to hide some keywords behind the pictures and stuff like that, but the fastest and easiest way to get Google to find those keywords is to have them in the content on your page. You know, if you go over here and look, you know, these guys, They've got a few paragraphs here and there, but they're kind of lacking on the content too. Super easy to beat out. The smaller content is one of the things that I see most common with all of these websites that I look at. But when you go through here, you know, paragraph here and a paragraph there, but there's just not a ton of content. So they're super easy to beat out to get those organic keywords and stuff into the site. You know, if we go over here and look, this is a tool called Arifs that we use to kind of break down these sites. You're showing up for 96 keywords right now, which is good. Um, looks like PPF Spokane, you know, there's only zero to 10 people that are searching that every month, but you're in the fifth position and these tools are not always perfectly accurate because it says there's zero to 10 people searching this term. However, it says there's 18 people going to your site every month because of it. So there's obviously the search volume has gone up, but you know, I like to see what I call the generic keywords, um, car detailing Spokane Valley. You know, it says what you do and where you do it. There's 150 people a month searching for that. And you're in the 17th position, which is at the bottom of the second page. And you're getting maybe one click a month for that keyword. So, you know, detailing, car detailing, Spokane, 350 people a month searching for that. You're at the top of the third page. So you're getting maybe one click every two months. So the higher search volume keywords are really the ones that I want to work on. Um, you have a great foundation here and it's like you're you're right there getting ready to move on to that first page with a few of these so that's the type of stuff that i would try to get organically into your content and try to get those ranking a little bit better you know if we go over here and look these guys only have 54 keywords these guys have 69 but we can look and see what some of those are car detailing spokane they're in the sixth position and they're getting 13 visits a month out of that 350 Auto Detailing Spokane, 250 people a month. They're in the sixth position and they're getting seven people from that. So just an example, because they're actually down the page a little bit further. These guys were up at the top of that first page organically. And they're also in the map pack section, which we'll get into in a minute. But Spokane Auto Detailing, they're in the number one spot. Out of 100 people searching, 35 of those people are going to their website. So those are the type of keywords that I like to see. And we need to try to get those organically in the content on your page. The second thing is your citations. This right here is the Google Map Pack. And this right here is the site that I just showed you and how they're ranking. Um, but citations are a huge factor into getting into this Map Pack. They are not the only thing that helps get there. There are a lot of other factors to it, but citations are one of the big ones. And what a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number listed on multiple directories across the internet, such as Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle. There's literally thousands of them out there. Um, WhiteSpark is a tool that we use to look at the citations. Currently, these guys have 33, Dr. Detail has 26, and you have 11. One of the first things we like to do when we go in and start helping somebody with their marketing is we go in and add about 100 to 200 citations to that, you know, to your site and try to get you ranking up into that map pack as quickly as possible. You know, when people are searching, a lot of times there'll be some ads up at the top and then they scroll right down into here before they ever get to the organic stuff. And a lot of people are gonna click right here if they can find what they're looking for. So being up in this top three is pretty important as far as getting found on the internet. That just seems to be where most of the people are looking. The third thing would be your backlinks. You've currently got 13 backlinks. What a backlink is, is any website that's not yours, 
that has a link back to you. So being that you're with Ceramic Pro, I would assume that they have some type of directory to find their installers. So that's probably where one of your backlinks is coming from. There's a spot there that they can click on that brings it back to your site. Um, but it's kind of a popularity contest. The more backlinks you have, the more popular Google thinks you are, and the more authority they're going to give you. But not all backlinks are created equal. You do want to try to keep them relevant to what you're doing. You know, having a backlink from the local Pizza Hut's really not going to help you out. But, you know, you can go into auto detailing blogs, you know, read up on some stuff, post a comment on there, put a link back to your site. Some of your citations will give you backlinks. There's lots and lots of ways to do it. But if we go over here, you know, these guys only have 23. These guys also have 23. So, you know, they're not killing it on the backlinks. They're not going to be hard to beat. But one thing we can do is go in here and see where they're getting their backlinks from. And then try to go to those same places, you know, check the authority of the site, make sure it's the type of backlink that we want, and then go in and start trying to get those same backlinks for you. I personally try to avoid a lot of these that have this weird writing and stuff in them. Those sometimes are kind of spammy, and we really don't want those on your site. But we can go in and see where these guys are getting their backlinks from and try to get you links on those same pages. I call it the copycat method, you know, kind of find the guy that's, that's winning in the ranking game copy what they have, and then find some more on their own to beat them out. But that's kind of my quick overview for you. Just as a recap, um, about 1,500 to 2,000 words on that home page, about 500 to 750 words on your back service pages. Citations, go out there and get in as many of those directories as you can. It is something you can do on your own. It just takes a lot of time to do it. Track down the directory, sign up for it, click on the verification email, put in all your information. But it is something you can do. Um, backlinks, like I said, your citations will help with those. There's blog commenting you can do, guest posting, you know, team up with some guys that maybe have the same clientele as you, but don't do detailing. And maybe they can put a link to your site and you can put a link to theirs and kind of share some power back and forth that way, share some clients. But that's kind of my quick overview for you. You know, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and thank you for your time.